Hi everybody, this is The Fix. This is my second YouTube instructional video, this time talking about how to restore recent folders to Windows 10 and getting that folder working in the Save As dialog boxes. Everything you'll see here today I've figured out myself uh, through research and trial and error. The recent folders and recent items was something I wanted restored for my own personal usage so I took the time to figure out how to do it and I thought I'd make some instructional videos to share, to share with you how to get it restored for you, you as well. Okay, let's begin. So if you've watched my last video, I've taught how to restore the recent items under quick access and getting it working in the Save, a save As dialog boxes. Okay, so what we need to do is to start up a start run. Inside the run box, we want to paste this string. Now this string of text I'll put in the into the description field of the YouTube video for your convenience. So paste that into there, hit OK, and lo and behold, recent folders appears. It'll appear here temporarily, so what we need to do is right click and choose Pin to Access to pop it up to there, and we can drag it wherever we want to. Okay, but much like the original recent items as per my original video, Microsoft doesn't really want us using recent folders under Quick Access, because if we happen to go to an application and do a Save As, the recent folders just does not appear under quick access. So what we need to do is make some registry tweaks to unhide the recent folders under quick access. Let me show you how I figured out how to do this. It is a little bit advanced, I'll warn you, but it's not too difficult. Okay. So there's one of two ways you can do it. Uh, one's a temporary way and another one's a permanent way. I'll show you the simple temporary way first of all. Uh, back into Notepad, save as. We want to right click up here, edit address, to turn into text, remove that, paste in that same string of text as before, hit enter, and there we have recent folders. Of course if you cancel and try it again, it'll have disappeared. So it's a temporary fix, but a uh, easy one nonetheless. So let me show you how to make it permanent. What I recommend to do before you start mucking around with the registry is take a full system restore point of C drive prior to commencing. Okay, we want to open up the registry. In administrator. Okay, so here it is hkey classes root clsid with this string that should be recognizable from the last paste that we did and then shell folder okay uh, what we actually want to do is change this attributes field to a different number which i've figured out but at the moment you can change it to whatever you want and it ain't going to save because you don't have access to write to it so we need to give ourselves access to write to this field right click shell folder choose permissions go into advanced click change type in administrators and check names OK and OK click on administrators here and full control and then hit OK now we've got access to change this the number that you want to change this to is the following seven zero zero one zero zero two zero hit okay okay now there is a second folder we need to do exactly the same steps two control find it's the same string it should be the next uh, next location of that string what we've just done is the, is the uh, location for all 32-bit applications we've found the string corresponding to all 64-bit applications. So we need to do exactly the same process. Right-click Shell Folder, Permissions, Advanced, Change, Administrators, OK, OK, click Administrators, Full Control. If I'm going too fast, you can always pause it and go at your own pace. Hit OK, double-click Attributes, and change this number to 7001020.
hit OK. Folks, that's it. We're done. To prove it, let's go back into Notepad, File Save As. Lo and behold, here's our recent folders. Well, hope you enjoyed that, guys, and it's hopefully it's uh, saved you a lot of time and trouble. Just to prove in Word, it doesn't matter what application you open now, it sticks. If this has proven helpful, uh, hopefully you leave a comment in the under the uh, YouTube video. Thanks for your time. I'm sure I'll be posting more how-to videos shortly. Goodbye for now.